Digital Foundry, and I was I did some of this in my CES coverage earlier this year, where we talked about 8K displays because they are reality. Dell is now selling one for five thousand um, dollars. You can, of course, super sample down using an 8K image to a 4K screen. And what's what's happening here is it's essentially four 4K screens on your monitor. And the toll it takes on a video card is, is dramatic. So the guys over at Digital Foundry took two of the new 1080 Ti's and could still not get 60 frames. Most of the times they were getting, when they were running around in combat, this is a Metal Gear Solid 5, they were getting anywhere from 20 to 30 frames at best. So now the big push is going to be for 8K when we can barely play 4K correctly. And I think this is absolutely insane, but it's happening. TV developers, manufacturers are already moving forward. There were probably 20 or 30 8K displays at CES this past year. And I, I just don't know how how far do we actually need to go with resolution, do you think, guys? I mean, how how long until there is almost zero difference to the human eye? I mean, are, are we already there going from 4K to 8K? Maybe some people can't even see the difference between 1080p and 4K, which I think is a little crazy because I can see the difference. I think most people can. But do we really need to go above 4K, I guess, is my question to you guys. I honestly think that it's, you know, 8K is understandable, um, mm. you know, for people who are sort of working with video, like as professionals. I can see people in editing rooms needing a good display like that or, you know, photographers needing one for editing. But as far as just like general um, consumer consumption of media, sitting on the couch or even playing something like a video game, I think 4K is, is you know, just fine. And no, like not very many people have 4K TVs. I am, I consider myself somebody who's really into this kind of stuff and into video games. And I just got a 4K TV like just a few months ago. I still don't um, have one, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and I have a PS4 Pro. I know you have one as well. Yep, I do. Um, actually got my PS4 Pro and my 4K TV at the same time. Um, and so like, I don't know. Like, of cash all over the place, huh? Yeah, it was, it was a crazy. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> but um, no, yeah, I don't know. So I think that uh, AK is, I see it coming, but for professionals, I don't know what these companies are thinking. I'm sure they're going to put some stuff out. But if I go into Best Buy next year and I see like an 8K TV there for like 5000 or $6,000, I'm just, I'm just going to shake my head and walk away seriously. But I'm, I mean, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So um, Evan, what, uh, what are you thinking there, man? I mean, we've already talked heavily about how pointless 4K is for like 90% of the people. Yeah. But I mean, if we're talking 8K TVs, I know that's more for computers. Uh, it's more for consoles. It's more for stuff like that. What, what like TV company in their right mind would allow for 8K to travel over their own like cable TV network? Like they can barely uh, pull that. I'm, I imagine they wouldn't be able to pull that off. You wouldn't be able to get that much information to travel to you that quickly uh, for television shows so why would anyone buy a tv for like their general room in a house that's at 8k when they're only getting so much to anyway be fair, that's just because comcast is being a pain <laughs> like that's well yeah but it's archaic copper and everything they should really be up to like fiber optics but that's yeah, that's, but a, the, that's a topic for a whole other story so yeah but that's 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 changing all infrastructure that's getting yeah. ridiculous at that point city infrastructure having to redo all that stuff that's insane um so like it, it's almost pointless to talk about other than for, I guess, something you just kind of see once in a while, a convention, maybe their monitors, that maybe baseball mm -hmm. fields, football fields, they'll have the 8K monitor up top, but that's it. Like, yeah, I what's the resolution see... for the Cowboy Stadium screen? It's got to be massive. Nah, maybe. I'm not, not, no, it's the, well, it depends on what it is now, but those were always low res. I mean, they always look terrible, even from a distance, but the higher the res. But that's what we were talking about with 4Ks. You need a TV almost that big to really appreciate the fact that it's 4K as opposed to anything else. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's so pointless. Yeah, so I'll jump I over think... to, I guess, Shane here. Well, uh, so, okay, I've got a 4K monitor for my computer uh, because sure. I do video editing, right? That's, that's, mm -hmm. that's one of the things. Um, if I had the choice now, I would have gone back and I would have got a 1080p monitor that just had a high, higher fresh, refresh rate, like a... Uh, Samsung sent in uh, 144 hertz monitor, and I was playing games at 144 frames per second, and it, I was just like, that's what I need. I didn't need the 4K. I needed the faster frame rate. Faster frame rates are just so much more interesting to me than high resolution, because you do get a lot of detail, 
but I found it. I found that my computer struggled to run any game at 4K resolution, where at a higher frame rate I was capable of doing that. It just always mm -hmm. looked cool. Um, I do have a 4K TV for my PlayStation 4 Pro and for my Xbox One S, like watch 4K films and stuff. But honestly, I think that everything I've seen of 4K now has been very underwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, you need a really, really expensive and good TV to get the get the quality that you think you want to get. But even then, I think celluloid res resolution is just underneath, just slightly underneath what 4 what 8K is. And when people are scanning those old films and bringing them over for a format for us to watch at home, when you get to 8K, you're pretty much going to be getting one to one what that actual film was. Essentially, it's 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 taking old analog technology and bringing it over to digital. So you know certain things get missed here and there. But uh, uh, a 35 uh, millimeter film is in the ballpark of like. 500 by 400 or something mm -hmm. or sorry 5,000 by 4,000 or something like that right mm -hmm. so it's it's something in that realm uh, realm and, and when you get to 8k that's when you start to get those re resolutions because even at 4k they're still downsizing that image but at this point in time with a lot of the films we see uh, and, and a lot of video games we play at 4k the image of the video quality if there's a pre-recorded video sequence is usually still at 1080p and in many instances, if you're watching a 4K movie, the special effects sequences were were just ran, uh, uh, generated at 1080p and not 4K. And that still happens for a lot of films out there. Um, Mad Max, which is available on Ultra 4K on Blu-ray, that disc is actually just an upscale 2K image. It's mm. not actually 4K. So you're not, you, I don't think there's enough content out there to, to get that stuff unless they're willing to go back and clean up old celluloid. And in many instances, they'd have to go back and do that for a lot of films and get that 8K image and master it at 8K for us to get that kind of stuff back for us. And, and I just think that it takes too much out of the systems to run. I think that it's cool that they're doing 8K, mm -hmm. but they haven't got 4K right yet. And until no. <laughs> they, they get it right, there's no reason to jump up to 8K. Well, it's, uh, I think it's interesting because, well, one, we don't actually, what's funny is 4K is such a great marketing term because none of the TVs that most that most people buy in stores right now are really even, for, they're kind of round up because usually they're 3840 by 2160. So realistically, it should be like 2160p. I guess just, that's just not as sexy as saying 4K, whereas you could say <laughs> 1920 by 1080 is technically, I guess, 2k is the with the way their marketing is working here um and it's interesting i think 8k works for a couple things i think it works for uh movie theaters that want to do that um i think it works for anyone who like you guys have said in film or or, or art or anything graphic design where you you want an image that's so detailed that you can zoom in and make very fine corrections or change different things during you know video editing like you guys have said i just don't think it makes a lot of sense for the the mass market right now but who knows in 15 years maybe we look at 4k and even 8k like we look at 1080p now where we're you know they're all over the all over our house and we're to the point where we just you walk into a store and you buy a 1080p tv for what i i think i was at walmart earlier today it was like 250 dollars for a 40 inch 1080p tv now which is if you go back 15 years maybe it, it, 1080p is kind of like what 4k is now where we kind of look at that a 1080p t tv like it's like a holy grail you know and and now it's we treat it almost like they're dirt <laughs> so it's uh it's an interesting i guess growth because tv manufacturers are pretty much done with 4k at this point now they're just looking on to the next thing it's just the rest of the world is having a hard time keeping up with these TV manufacturers who want to just do nothing but increase the resolution because it's not on their end to make this thing run. It's just on their end to have it display the image. So they, all they want to do is just keep jumping up to the next thing, and that's fine because we do need to move forward with technology. It just gets to a point where it's like, how much resolution do we need? Because games aren't going to be any more, any more fun. Sonic Boom won't be any more fun, for example, from 720p to 4K. It'll still be the same amount of fun.